Greetings all. To all my patrons, hello, this is Greg Robin Smith, G.R. Smith, Finn McFair, Robin Player, Ben Franklin, and a number of other personas, all brought to you by this one person. Either I'm crazy or simply very creative, or maybe both. This is an update. Uh, this is in replacement of the um, Zoom call we were supposed to have yesterday, the 18th of February, 2022. Um, I got distracted, and I completely forgot because a dear friend, my love, had to have a root canal, and I took them there and was back and then didn't think of anything else but them. Um, and so I apologize for not being on the Zoom call. Uh, we're going to try this again in two weeks and uh, get the system down and also do a recap or a capture of those calls to catch you up on what's new with the poet. Uh, the main thing uh, for the um, G.R. Smith, the managing director of the Washington Shakespearean Festival, is thanks to our good friend John Poole, who is a CPA um, and is our one of our financial advisors. The paperwork is now in to the federal government for our 501c3 nonprofit educational and art group um, status uh, application. So if we get that, then we will be a fully functioning nonprofit. Um, when we can ask for donations, we can uh, rent certain facilities, we can offer clock hours to teachers, um, and we can start uh, building the company. I had a great talk with a banker um, from uh, the WSECU where we plan to put our bank accounts. And this is the cat, by the way, walking by. Thank you. This is the cat tail. This is Bean, who is making her appearance. Thank you. And <laughs> Are you through bumping the camera? <laughs> Maybe not. Okay. Oh, Bean is down there. Yes, Bean is helping. And so wait, the 501c3 is in, and so we should know in about a month. If we get approved, uh, I th we think we will. It's a pretty simple application for uh, groups that are smaller than 50 grand in, ass in immediate assets. Earthquake. It's kitty quake. T there. Okay, there's the cat. Okay, he wants to be known, I guess. See, I had this all set up to the fireplace, be nice and calming, and ooh, and then and then came the cat, and here comes the cat again. <laughs> cat wrangler Eleanor is is, is helping. <laughs> you're, do I have to edit it? No, I'm not going to edit you out because you're you're personable, and 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 who do I know that doesn't like cats? Um, hardly any. So uh, this uh, summer, I've been invited to apply for at least five weeks, possibly more, of Ren Fairs, cat tail time, and um, four weeks, uh, the people who ran the um, Kalispell, the Montana Renaissance Fair last year, uh, they're doing two weeks again in Kalispell and two weeks in Fargo, North Dakota, possibly other uh, weekends as well. Idaho Renaissance Fair, uh, it's in, uh, we're in negotiations with, and the Spokane Renaissance Fair, I'm hoping to... You, you, you're causing this to be all about you. Oh, is anyone surprised that it's all about the cat? <laughs> so anyway, lots of Renaissance Fairs this summer, hopefully uh, getting some good video from them, etc. And uh, such. Um, I've got a new instructor, a fellow uh, master in the society, uh, Jason Silvertongue, um, Jay Rarick, who helped found uh, Last Leaf, Shakespeare Company here in the Seattle-ish area, and he and I went to high school together, actually, a couple of years younger, but I, uh, we knew each other back in the 70s, and in the 80s, kind of bumped into each other again up here in this area, and he is um, uh, very well-versed in Shakespeare and in the other poets, which I am not uh, as much, so he has uh, assigned me the task of studying more of the other poets, and so I've started off with Marlowe and going over his um, shepherd's uh, Shepherd to his last, that you come with me and be my love, and all the pleasures prove of that poem, and then also the works um, Edward the Second, which is still extremely um, pertinent and uh, timely, if those aren't exactly the same word. Um, I'm starting that, and now going uh, int being introduced to Dr. Faustus. That's a fun little deep dive on the side. Um, still publishing variety, of course, on Patreon. And Twitter, TikTok, Facebook, um, and uh, Patreon, of course, and Pexels, P-E-X-E-L-S. I'm putting a lot of my photography over there. Pexels is cool because you can download stuff for free. 
and um, and all my catalog there. I think it's over 200 um, images now are available for free. Download and use however you want. That's the deal with Pexels. They're a great place to, where I just store stuff and then I bring them, bring things down, and then use them in my videos. And so it's a good uh, backup spot for me. Um, got a stack of Benjamin Franklin books recently for research. Um, uh, not only to give away or leave when I'm like in a hotel, I like to leave copies of Benjamin Franklin's autobiography, but also just the older editions because it's interesting to see what different editors leave out of his papers. Um, and um, so I've got that coming. I've um, been doing some more piano pieces, some of which I've posted here and will continue to post in either melodies or just the uh, the piano piece and posting them on Facebook. Um, and people have commented that they liked them. That they're oftentimes very short improvisational piano pieces. And um, they're just meant to be calm. <laughs> Cat warning. <laughs> and uh, uh, calming moments, uh, 30 seconds, maybe a minute or so. Or so. Um, I'm going uh, attending more fight practices, both doing rapier work <laughs> as well as hard suit fighting still, which is a good information for a lot of the reality of Shakespeare's play. Yeah, well, you knock over the thing and it's going to make a noise. You okay? Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, do I, should I put Bean in on, on the credits on this? Uh, so, so going to that and um, uh, wonderfully in a wonderful position, as you know, I have retired from my 32 years at the university and concentrating much more on all these other things. And, um, but both they, uh, the University of Washington Shuttles Program, and also the limo company I've been working with for the last six or seven years, uh, would like me back and are willing to work around my schedule, which is a huge compliment. And I'm thanking them very much for the generosity. And so I'll be uh, doing some part-time work um, uh, for, for both entities. And we'll be using that money to help fund uh, our trips, our programs. For example, I'm going to New York this fall. Uh, this is not the big trip to New York in 2023 where I'll get a, I'm looking for five days of performances for my Ben Franklin, but this will be possibly a single day performance um, at a, um, a small venue uh, because I'm going back to a theater makers conference in November and that's a um, producers and fellow creators conference and so I wanted to have a place where I could perform for the folks there and so I'm, I'm, I'm writing to various uh, play um, th theaters, the small ones back there for a free performance. So we'll be there in conjunction with that. But anyway, um, so that all takes money, of course. And so this program really helps. So the, the Patreon program, is I'm letting it, the donations build. And we have about $1,000 all together so far um, held in trust for our efforts. And... Um, and that's what also a lot of the money will also be coming in from this extra driving as well. Looking for doing some more Ben Franklin uh, programs, of course, which will help. And, of course, the Ren Fair money as well. Because uh, if we become a 501c3, then the Ren Fair, then when I perform at Ren Fairs, the money will come to the company. And then I'll get the, ex you know, the expenses paid, but the most the, it'll give us working capital, with which, though, I don't have to keep putting in money directly. I it's much better and much more fun and much more rewarding to me to perform and let that money go to the company and then let it use it to produce works, including we're hoping to do a touring company in 2023, um, and um, and it'll go from uh, approximately maybe Bellingham clear down to Olympia uh, for performances over the summer of 2023. So that's the catch-up. They're not, not even going to go to the joke. That's the uh, that's the wrap up. So I go from ketchup to a wrap. Uh, food, food, lots of food, and the cat has been scared away because she knocked over the the big tray. Uh, so no no more fish tail coming through here. Uh, thank you very much for your patronage. I hope you enjoy these little chats, and I will try in uh, two weeks after the uh, 18th to do a live feed again. Hope you're all well, and hope you keep enjoying all the works that are being sent out. Please write with questions or with suggestions or requests. Take care.
including like birthday wishes in poetic form and all that. That's what that'd be cool.